Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I want to give you a high level introduction on how to create your own predictive models as well as foundation model. In the previous tutorial, we saw what is the difference between predictive and foundation. We don't need to know from the exam perspective, but I just wanted to give you an additional information on what is the difference. Predictive models are going to predict something for you, whereas generational models are going to perform generalized tasks uh, for you. Here, there are two buttons that you see, add predictive model and add foundation model now here under the predictive model you don't have any models whereas under generative you see bunch of these models that are already available and you can customize these models as well and we saw that how to do it by changing their parameters now here if I want to create a predictive model I have two options one is to create the model from scratch or second option is to connect with the outside model so if there is a model that is available and I create it under Amazon or Google Cloud Vertex I can connect those models with uh, Salesforce and that option would be available in my list of models that are there I can do that so if I click on connect an Amazon SageMaker model it is going to ask me information about where the model is what is the URL what is the uh, secret key all of that information I don't have any of this information because I don't have a model set up and you don't need from the exam perspective but you know you need to know that you can connect your own models within this model builder Okay, you can bring your own large language model and you can connect them and all this information will be available to you if you have an outside model. Similarly, if you want to create your own uh, model, you can choose this create a model from scratch option. So here I'm going to choose the option of add predictive model again and there is an option to create from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next here and here you have to say which data would you like to use. So you need to have large amount of data to train your model and right now these none of these work actually. So if I go ahead and click on next it was going to give me an error saying select a data model object that has at least one outcome field. I don't have uh, that. Now, another important thing is these are the steps in order for you to create a predictive model. You have to select the data, then you have to select the training data, you have to set up the goal, prepare the variables, select algorithm, save and train. You don't have to remember these steps, but basically it is telling you that you can create your own predictive model or you can connect with models that are outside available to you. Now here if I go to the other button which is called as add foundation model very simple you can connect to the outside models using this add foundation model here you can connect to the open AI model you can connect to an Azure open AI model same way that we did for predictive the same kind of questions you have to provide what is your URL what kind of authentication is it key based then it is going to ask you uh, the key what is the version of the model so all of that it is going to ask deployment name things like that if I had the model I'll be able to add but that is out outside the scope of the exam. There are two things you have to remember that model you can create your own custom model or you can bring your own model and connect within this model builder as well. So there are two things that you need to remember. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.